गुड मॉर्निंग बेटा लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू पॉलिनोमियल्स यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस्ड बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी ऑफ माइनस वन मींस पॉलिनोमियल एट माइनस वन व्हेन पी ऑफ वाई इज गिवन मींस पॉलिनोमियल एट वाई इज गिवन यू हैव टू फाइंड पी ऑफ माइनस वन मीन्स यू हैव टू पुट वाई एज माइनस वन इन दिस गॉट इट सो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई एज माइनस वन एंड गेट द वैल्यू very less participants <clears throat> when you put y is equal to minus 1 in the first polynomial what you are getting as answer kes bhavansh charvi मैम माइनस फाइव यस मैम माइनस फाइव माइनस फाइव यस मैम करेक्ट यस मैम ओके आंसर ऑफ द फर्स्ट पॉलिनोमियल एट माइनस वन इज माइनस फाइव ओके स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट हु विल आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस दीप्ति प्लीज कैन यू आंसर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन the number of zeros of this polynomial is how many zeros this polynomial has yes jaydev mam one which type of polynomial is this mam uh, quadratic and quadratic has power 2 then how many zeros yes, are there mam two hoenge yes it has at most two zeros it can be less than two but maximum two linear polynomial okay, has only one zero quadratic has at most two zeros cubic has at most three zeros it can be less than two but maximum two zeros can occur there classify this polynomial means you have to tell me the type of polynomial on the basis of the power it has on the basis of the term it is binomial and on the basis of the power it is biquadratic and on the basis of the power it is options given are monomial trinomial binomial all of these binomial aayega answer kyunki two terms hai na and on the basis of 
power it is bi quadratic <laughs> excuse me next degree of this how you will get degree you will multiply this and you will get the maximum power is called the degree of the polynomial do it hurry up do it hurry up yes after multiplication what you are getting ma'am uh, degree is 8 can you tell me the terms that you have got after multiplication 4x cube minus x raised to power 8 plus 20 minus 5x raised to power 5 okay so maximum power is 8 so degree of this polynomial is 8 and ye kaun se type ka hai terms ke base pe ye kya hai polynomial terms ke base pe kya hai ye polynomial hai theek hai one term monomial two term binomial three term trinomial and koi basic aa jaye to aap usko polynomial kahoge theek hai next is write the zeros of this polynomial so you will compare each one by one with zero You will compare x equal to zero, then x minus two equal to zero, then x minus three equal to zero. We have already discussed. Whenever you need to find the zeros, you will equate that term equal to zero. Got it? So, in case you, if you want to find the zeros, you have to equate the term with equal to zero. So here x equal to zero, here x equal to two, here x equal to three. So you will get three zeros here. Zero. Two, three. Can you get the degree of this polynomial? Multiply these two terms, then the result of this will again be multiplied with this. Please kindly find the degree of this polynomial. I am waiting. Tell me the terms that you are getting after multiplication. Please multiply this. <clears throat> what you are getting yes divya no i am doing that yes anyone else jatin jasleen प्रतीक्षा वेन यू मल्टीप्लाय दीज टू टर्म इट विल बी एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू एक्स एंड यू हैव टू अगेन मल्टीप्लाय विद एक्स माइनस थ्री सो यू विल मल्टीप्लाय एक्स स्क्वेर विद एक्स दैट इज एक्स क्यू एक्स स्क्वेर विद थ्री माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर देन माइनस टू विद दिस माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वेर Minus two x with minus three, that is six x. So the degree of this polynomial is three, and zeros are zeros. We have already discussed x equal to zero, x equal to two, x equal to three. So these are the three zeros of the polynomial. Is this a polynomial? You have seen that the degree of p, power of p, is one by two. Here degree is one. Means maximum power is one, but still one of the term has power one by two. For the polynomial, it's compulsory to have power in the form of the whole number or natural number. 
ठीक है यू कॉन्ट टेक द पावर एज नेगेटिव एज इन फ्रैक्शन और इन डेसिमल सो इट इज नॉट अ पॉलिनोम इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माइनस फोर इन वन बाय टू आर द जीरो चेक वेदर इट्स ट्रू और फॉल्स so you will make the factors of this by middle term splitting method so make the factors by middle term splitting method and check are you getting the same answer if yes then it's true otherwise not please do it do it hurry up yes when you factorize this by middle term splitting method you will multiply first and the last term 2 fours are 8 that is minus 8 so you will make the factors of 8 as 8 and 1 8 ones are 8 and 8 minus 1 will give you 7 so i will write 8x and 1x this is plus here you will write minus okay now take 2x common You are left with x plus four. Take minus one common. You are left with x plus four. So factors are two x minus one and x plus four. Here x is equal to minus one by two. Sorry, one by two and x is equal to minus four are the two zeros of the polynomial. And in the question, I have written that minus four and one by two are the zeros. That means it is correct. Okay. So this statement is. True. Got it. So this is true. Start next. Find the value of the polynomial at x is equal to root two. So what you will do? You will write x as root two in this given polynomial. Do it. Hurry up. you have to learn the result of factor theorem 
and remainder theorem that is given in your NCRT book. You have to learn the result as it is. It can be asked in the exam. Maybe the statement can be given and they can ask you about the name of the statement or if the result name is given, you have to explain it in your words or you have to write the statement as it is. So you have to learn it, okay? Yes. Divya, <coughs> Dhare, no. Yes. Ma'am, ma'am, zero. Divya, yes. kya wo network ki problem hai koi? No, ma'am. Okay. So put, Jia, what you are getting for the eighth question? Ma'am, zero. Zero? Yes. Prachi, is it correct? Divya. Mama, I am get, getting minus uh, root 2. Divya, what you are getting? Ma'am, zero. Zero. And Riyanshika, what about you? Ma'am, zero. Zero. Okay, let me check. The name of the polynomial first you will give as px x cubed minus 3x square minus 2x plus 6. So you will put x as root 2 here, root 2 whole cube, root 2 whole square, minus 2 into root 2 plus 6. Got it? Minus 2 cube is 2 root 2. Minus 2 square, root 2 square is 2, 3 twos are 6. This is minus 2 root 2, this is plus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 cancel. Plus root 2 and minus root 2 will cancel. Answer will be 0. So as you know that we are getting 0 as answer. So can I say that root 2 is the 0 of this polynomial? Did you remember about this? What is this theorem called? If you are getting 0 as remainder and then this number will become the factor. So this is known as factor theorem. The factor theorem has two results. Agar aapko put karne par answer zero aare, to yes, it is a zero of the polynomial. Root two is the zero of the polynomial, and x minus root two is the factor. And if this is the factor, then you must get remainder as zero as you are getting. So this is the factor theorem I am writing here. Agar aapke paas koi polynomial p x hai and you are dividing it with x minus a. और अगर आपने x की वैल्यू यहां पर a पुट कर दिया आंसर 0 आ गया तो a इसका क्या बन जाएगा 0 और x minus a इसका क्या बन जाएगा फैक्टर और कन्वर्स भी ट्रू है अगर अगर ये इसका फैक्टर है देन यू विल मस्ट बी गेटिंग एज 0 एज रिमाइंडर ठीक है अगर ये 0 है तो ये इसका फैक्टर है और ये फैक्टर है तो इट मस्ट गिव यू 0 एज रिमाइंडर सो दिस इज नोन एज योर फैक्टर थ्योरम इन दिस यू कैन राइट root 2 is the 0 of the polynomial and x minus root 2 is the factor of the polynomial. You can write it at the end if you want to write. Start next question number 9. Start this question. Ma'am, A is equal to 2. Ma'am, A is equal to 2. All are getting A as 2. Actually, yes. minus 2 is the 0. <laughs> Agar ye, sorry, minus 1 is the 0. This means, as minus 1 is the 0, then it must give you 0 as remainder. So, this is known as your remainder. This means, if you have a polynomial, if you have a polynomial, if you have a polynomial, Agar aapke polynomial ka name I have given as x square, it's compulsory to give the name to the polynomial. And if you write minus 1 here, it must give you 0 as remainder because minus 1 is a 0. If minus 1 is a 0, then it must satisfy the polynomial. So that's what I have written. If you write here, x as minus 1, x as minus 1, 
x as minus one, it must give you zero as remainder. So this minus one cube is minus one. It will be minus a. Minus one square is plus one. This is minus one plus four equal to zero. This is minus minus plus plus minus minus sine बड़े वाले का. Then minus a is equal to minus two. Minus will cancel out. A is equal to four. Okay. So if I write, yes, can you tell me if I get a as two, then what will be the value of the polynomial? Then what you will do, you will write a as two here. It will become this polynomial. So that will be your new polynomial. Did you remember about the concept? This is cubic polynomial, and you can find its zeros by first zero by trial method and remaining two zeros by division. Did you remember that we will discuss in the next class? It is a lengthy process. We will do it later on. First, we will start with the factorization of two terms. Then we will proceed to the th three terms. Find the degree of this polynomial. So, before finding the degree, it's compulsory to separate them and to get the maximum power. Otherwise, if you write the answer as three, it will be wrong. So, it's compulsory to make them separate and get the highest power out of these. Do it, hurry up. Four x minus five x square plus six x cube divided by two x. So you will separate two x in the denominator of each term. So when you cancel it out, you are left with two. When you solve it, you are left with five by two x. When you solve this, this will give you three x square. So out of these three, highest power is. Highest power is two. Okay. Highest power is two. So degree of the polynomial is two, and on the basis of term, it is trinomial. What is remainder theorem? It is exactly same. If p x is a polynomial and that will be divided by x minus a, then you will put x minus a equal to zero. That will give you value of x as a. When you put this in the polynomial, that will be your remainder. So p a is the remainder. Whatsoever term is given as divisor, you will equate that equal to zero. You will get the value of x as that term. And you will put that value in the polynomial, and that will be p a is the remainder. So that is what about remainder theorem. If p x is a polynomial and it is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is p of a. Got it? So write down the question. Find the remainder. Find the remainder. When p x is equal to two x plus one is divided by x minus one, find the remainder when p x is divided by x minus one. All these questions I am discussing from the latest sample paper, Mastermind. Okay, so these are the latest question of this year that I am discussing.
polynomial is given and this is divided by x minus 1, you have to find the remainder. What you will do? You will equate that equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So you will put x as 1 here, that is p of a, 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. So your remainder is 3. You are getting remainder as 3. Now factorize this, factorize this, you will write it in the standard form, okay, this is 1, 6, 1 is 6, so you will make the factors of 6, that is 3, 2 is 6, make the factors hurry up and tell me the answers. Yes, yes, we Anshika. Ma'am, x minus 2 and x plus 3. x minus 2 and x? Plus 3. Plus 3. Factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Beside the sign, we want x with plus sign, plus minus, minus. Take x common. Take minus 2 common, that will be your x plus 3 and in this, this is x minus 2. So these are the two factors. And what are the zeros? If you want to find zeros, equate each equal to 0. You will get x as minus 3 and x as 2. So these are the two zeros of this polynomial. Now find the zeros, hurry up. Yes, Divya, Pushti, what, yes, is, what is the zero of first, plus one? Minus, minus one by two. How you have got the answer? By equating it to zero. Yes, for finding the zero, you have to equate the polynomial equal to zero. So you will equate two x plus one equal to zero. That is x is equal to minus one by two. Yes, Pushti, second part. Yes, ma'am, minus five. Yes? Ma'am, one, one by pi. Ma'am, one by pi. One by pi. On kya minus pi. Kya aega? Minus pi. No. Rachi, aap kya kya rahe ho? Ma'am, one by pi. No. Kya karte hai zero find karne ke liye? Ma'am, zero se equate karna usko. Karna zara pi x equal to zero. Ma'am, zero a jayega answer. Haan ji, fir one, one by pi kaun se aaya hai? Zero. Zero aaya. Answer will be zero. You will equate for finding zero. You will equate this equal to zero. What is the zero of this next polynomial? Ma'am, minus b by a. Yes, it's minus b by a. The similar question is given in your NCRT book in the form of Lx plus m. So I have changed the variable and numbers L x plus m मैंने change करके a x plus b लिख दिया ये भी दिया हुआ है शायद क्वेश्चन start next one start next one hurry up do it 